King gonna head out across the map. Where are you going, mister? Where are you trying to go? Oh my god, you know, one thing that I've been waiting to see for a while is Monkey King's trying to go for the courier snipe. And I, I'm wondering if Thompson is doing it. This is something that I've seen before, where you can walk into their base and try and snipe the courier. Because it just sits out front there. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's going for it. Oh my god, Thompson, Let's are go, you gonna Boris. do it? Oh Boris. my god, Thompson, the courier is just sitting there. Move your courier, Elias. Oh, he's taking it. He's gonna hit it. One more hit. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Easy. <laughs> I mean, you do that stuff from time to time. <laughs> and uh, you can get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> Boris is back. Oh. My god. I've 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 I saw that in a pub Battle match. Begins. Um I don't think it was Topson that well, did are it. They but... gotta get four runes? What? Plus a courier snipe? Alliance, what are you doing? What? Alright, it's over. It's a thousand gold lead. It's six seconds in the game. What has happened? Just a free quelling blade for Beastmaster plus Lo and behold, this is going to be a really tough laning stage, and Quakeva, he only needs one treant to get the body block in. Oh, it's happening. Oh, Quakeva. Oh, man. ILTW draws first blood. Everything is going OG's way. If you are Alliance right now, it does feel like they need to try and get some of these runes up, but no tail TP's back in, and he's found Quakeva. We'll have some more creeps to summon in a second. Ah, six seconds away, and ILTW finds the kill. Level 1 toss, not enough damage. They could try to make a rotation on mid. Thompson getting really low. Oh. oh. Turns into Switching. flying courier. Mischief. Great spell. Uh, compared to the Beastmaster, he's still a little bit behind, but it's not an insurmountable lead by any stretch of the imagination. No Tail shows up, brings a Sentry Ward, and Boxy gonna die for it. Yeah, bottom the gank doesn't even need to use a spell. Down. What is happening, is man? This is, this is getting ugly. I mean, it's only 10 kills, 7 minutes in. Okay. 11. Jesus. We've seen more. Look at this. Seven minutes. Beast well, we haven't seen them. Lads and extra 600 gold. This is looking rough. They're going to pressure the tower right now. Uh, oh, oh man looking God. on Winter Wyvern. Top tower it it falls fallen. down so quickly. And Monkey King went for... Oh, oh my God. You oh my one God. shot him with medallion. <laughs> I just wanted to say he went for... Same item build in the, one of the games yesterday, Dyer's and then bought another Blightstone, turned it into a Deso. Mickey is level 5. They, they, they've fallen so far behind. Been. Every time you look away, there's another kill happening. He can. He doesn't even have Infest. He's just dead. Uh, Seb has a Vlad's and Medallion. This game has fallen completely out of hand. Thompson back in the base yet again, pulled back in by Taiga. OG uh, are just doing whatever they want with Alliance right now. And the Ava, the toss, and the kill. This game is super over. There is nothing that Alliance can do at all. Epicenter trying to walk in. Boxy, it ain't happening. Holy crap, dude. 10 minutes in, they're diving at almost tier 4 towers. Turn it back around, thinking about it. The boundless strike hit kills onto Rubik. Give that man a tip. A couple more to boot afterwards. You don't even have Nature's Prophet with them right now, and they are going to finally retreat a little bit, but it's a 10,000 net worth lead at 10 minutes in. They, there are four heroes in the base at this point. Yeah, they need to chill a bit. Oh my god. And yeah, Wyvern's just dead again. ILTW. That was sensing weakness huge. and they immediately break the static link turn back around again this boundless strike deals so much damage Quakeva gonna be ran at inside of his base the disrespect the destruction all of it it's coming up OG humiliation <laughs> this is destroying them and all it takes is an avalanche toss and then one of the ultis from Nature's Prophet. He's actually body blocking him. They know that he's in the area and they find it now. But no, they broke the tree. They broke the tree on the monkey. I don't think it matters. They, they're not killing tops in here. Oh, the lift maybe. But they lift him away from Mickey. Oh, that was not meant to be. And they will walk over to the shrine now. Topson gets the life seal. They toss away Koikva. All of this is some amount of space created mid for the Ember Spirit as four heroes group together. And now the chase comes. They found themselves Koikva. Topson moves back in. This is going to be the Winter's Curse, which almost kills them off, actually. And they will bring down Topson, but it comes at a cost, as Insania 2 will end up falling. 
And dancing on Insania, a triple kill for ILTW. OG completely dominant. I think that they realize it's a best of five and, well, got to keep your energy moving. Ruin of haste. Agia going to be chased down. Boundless Strike connects. That one won't kill him, but I think this one will as the Ember finds Mickey in the background. Sleight of Fist going out with the Maelstrom. Ticks as well, and Tagya going to be still under fire, under control, and killed off. And ILTW, he does not care. He doesn't care about anything. He might care about this. Remnant gets him away for the moment. A Hastern popped, living for the second, and this is going to be the Aegis down. They have Winter's Curse available. If they're able to hit it absolutely perfectly... Oh, look, the, the, the creep is getting the ward, though. It's taking it down. Oh, he knew. Oh, those creeps are still there. We have, what, one, two, three on the radiant side? <laughs> look at him. Gonna form a pack. Thompson, very ambitiously, gonna walk forward. We'll get hit by the boundless strike. Boxy's there as well. Thompson saying go. There's nobody else here to go with, buddy. He will jump away afterwards. So it looks like ILTW has decided to swap it back up and instead go for the Battle Fury instead of the Meteor Hammer. Oh no. What are you I doing? I know. I know. Feels bad. Hello, Quakeba. They walk at him. Happy Center. Kind of come out there. But Jerix interrupts it. And they got Koikva. Boxy does absolutely nothing. And ILTW finds two more over to the side. His boundless strike is a little bit bigger. They find four kills. Mickey trying to run, trying to hide. We'll have to just head back to the base as this game, it was over at around eight minutes. But it looks like it's well and truly going to be finished now as they take a set of racks. Dyer's Don't be so generous. They, man, they got four runes, they got a courier kill, and everyone got the items, and they just snowballed Dyer's from there. Also, has the amount of sentries. Dyer's I want to see how many sentries uh, yeah. he bought for himself. That is Dyer's a mid that we should all look up to. TI winning Dyer's mid, everybody. Buys his own sentries. Fallen. Take notes. Jerax being assaulted. Top's in there to help Dyer's him out. Meanwhile, though, they've got Ember Spirit under a little bit of control, but he remnants away and is perfectly fine. Mickey trying to walk away. Six seconds left for the rage. Axe is not going to bring him down. Meanwhile, Mr. Johan just, just punching the building. And ILTW shows back up. Does he able to steal some chains there? So that's going to keep him under a little bit of control. If they can hit the chains afterwards... Ah, it doesn't connect though, so he's still able to get the slide off. No tail does die. Burrow strike again coming from Boxy. They buy back on the NP and still have not been able to take the second set of racks yet. But Thompson walks forward and again just blows up Taiga. Insania 2 will soon fall. Roars him to death. Oh, and the taunt afterwards. My goodness. Jeez. Buildings are falling. That's another round of damage out. Boxy, the initiation coming from the Life Stealer. Is it going to be enough to kill off Seb at the very least? They will bring him down, but now they've just walked into the trap of the Thompson Wukong Command and Koikva caught as well as he gets eaten up at the Sprout. 31 to 9. Feed the trees. And I think it's time to call GG. Yep, it's time to call it. I mean, Life Stealer still split pushing. Dyer's top tower is when, when I say split pushing, he's out of the base. Midas <laughs> is ready. You gotta use it, buddy. Well, LTW will not be caught as he is out of there. And bringing items out, Thanks. bottle charges, everything, no tail. They can go and get some shrines if they want to. But I have a feeling that Thompson is going to look to one-shot somebody with his Desso. Dyer's he needs another Blightstone. Under there you go. That's the dream. Dyer's top it has one. Has I can't believe that Ember Spirit changed the Battle Fury. <laughs> that was a little bit sad, isn't it? Could have ended it. With style, life Dyer's stealer. Top tower is under attack. He's spamming the teleport Radiant onto them. <laughs> Look at this guy. You, you see what freaking No Tail is doing? He's just spamming teleport leaves on top of all of these guys. 
They do have the Winter's Curse. It is onto a tiny illusion. Not what you want to have happen. And there's going to be a Burrow Strike. Thompson able to dodge a lot of that damage with the Epicenter out as well. Quick, but trying to steal what he can. But Thompson still lives through it. The Avatos coming from Jerex. Ultra kill for ILTW. And Boxy, one more time. That man has a Rampage. And that is for sure GG. Man, what's happening? Yesterday, we saw Ember Spirit getting two or three Rampages. Today, again, same style. Victory. This hero is going to be so popular in this patch. It's insane.